Well, guys, I'm uh, sitting in my truck here, just killing just a few minutes. It's uh, a little bit early to get out there, start calling yet. Um, we got snow here, uh, snowing pretty heavy with a pretty hard crosswind. It's about 10 to 25 mile an hour wind. So uh, it's, it's cold conditions. It's got to be in the 20s. It's, it's pretty nasty out. But um, hitting a spot here that I talked to the landowner, and he said he's been hearing them howl just about every night. Said he had coyotes fighting and making all kinds of racket here a couple nights ago. So there's there's got to be a few of them around. Um, killed a coyote here a winter or two ago with my dad. It was a pretty sweet hunt. Came to the howls. Ended up uh, showing his face on the hillside all the way across. And then... Uh, Turn the rabbit on to bring him in, and he ended up shooting him at about 230 yards down in the big bottom. So, <clears throat> pretty sweet spot. I'm hoping to uh, repeat and do the same thing here tonight. So, we're going to get out there and uh, get set up and probably start with some prey distress and then uh, go into maybe some vocals and uh, some fight sounds. So, all right, stick with me. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Done. Done. Oh, there's another one. There was another one. <laughs> Bam, baby. You gotta be shitting me right now. I just shot two coyotes and didn't even start calling yet. You gotta be shitting me. Who's another one? Who's another one? <laughs> oh, wow. I was just about to do my. I was just about to do my interview for the beginning of the beginning of the hunt. I'm overlooking this big swamp with all this grass. And I was about to say how I was confident as I've ever been. And a coyote got up and took off and I I struggled to get the camera on him, but I finally did. I put one in him, but I didn't dump him. He took off. I think I shot him in the lungs. He ran about 50 yards and tipped over. When I shot that one, another one stood up out of the grass right below me. Took off running, turned back, and took a peek, and I dumped it. Unbelievable. I don't even think I'm going to call. I'm going to save this spot. There might be more coyotes, but I'm going to go round these coyotes up and uh, maybe go to a different spot up the road or something. That was freaking badass. Unbelievable. <laughs> Nice and furred up. Oh, yeah. Beautiful coyote. Absolutely drilled them. Right high in the shoulder, right there. Nice male. Oh, wow. He's a beauty. He stinks, too. Definitely an older coyote, pretty yellow teeth chipped up a bit. Oh yeah. There's coyote number one. Uh, well, it's taken me a while here because it's snowing so hard it's covering, but I finally, I found the second one I shot as you guys seen, and I am on the first one now. And he 
he is absolutely spraying blood. So I had to do a heart and lung shot him here. He's he's just a trudging here, but the blood trail, the blood trail is damn near. Oh my gosh, look at that! Painted red, absolute just trudging. Oh, there he is. Oh, see, it's a whole different point of view from that hillside compared to. Well, I hit that one back a bit. He's almost burying the snow already. Well, not too far back, just a little bit behind the shoulder. This is uh, another male. Nice size one, too, geez. This is the first one, so that's number one and two. And now we gotta go find number three. Beautiful coyote. That one's a little old too. He's got a lot of staining up on his teeth. A couple years old. I'm gonna drag this guy back to number one or number two and go try to find the go try to find the third coyote here. Well guys, I thought I'd do a quick interview here before it gets dark. Uh, you guys seen how it all playing out. I've been uh, with you guys the whole time there, tracking them and whatnot, but I, I come into the stand, pumped up, high hopes. Um, just was walking my call down the hill a little ways to get it away from me, and, and I seen a coyote skirting out of this uh, swamp. So I beat feet up to the hill, got all set up, the camera set up, and uh, stuck one in him. He took off running, tipped over in the midst of being pumped up and getting ready to call, try to bring another one in. There goes another one skirting out. So got set up, uh, put one in him. He dumped right there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't put the camera on him. I was too excited and uh, just wanted to get him get him killed. And right after that, I uh, did an interview and shut the camera off to go collect these two. And uh, third one went up and I, as I said, I swore I hit him. I'm struggling finding where he was running, where he was at. I circled around quite a bit, but uh, can't seem to find them, can't seem to find blood. I feel like I got them, but I, because I can't even find his tracks, which is which is weird. I don't know if they're covered up because it snowed pretty hard there for 10 minutes or what, but either way, it was a fun hunt. Never even had to turn the call on. Uh, sometimes you get lucky, um, but it's still fun shooting these things. So now I got to drag up a giant hill and I'm going to struggle and probably uh, have a heart attack, but um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully we uh, kill a few more coyotes here. Probably not going to be for a little while. Uh, rifle season coming up, so it'll be a couple week break here. But uh, we'll get after it hard right after that. So thanks for watching, guys.